Kakalos Bokatov, Shavuotov. We're continuing with the Alachot, but this is now on Alachot of Peot Arosh. We're talking about the Alachot of having Peot. So we know we're not allowed to cut off our Peot, the Peot Arosh, just like the Abu Dazara, the people that were serving Abu Dazara, they were Megalachim, right? Their heads, because it says in the Pasuk, look, Takifu Peatro Shechem. You're not allowed to make round or going round on the Peot of your heads. So now we know that you're only going to be chayav if you take a razor. What does that mean? You take the, the knife and you come and you take off your peot. What's the now to do with a misparaim, let's say scissors, which is ke'en ta'ar, right? So here it brings down the yesho sim also with misparaim ke'en ta'ar, right? Which means that whether it's going to be scissors or anything else, the yesh lachush of divrehem, we have to be choshesh for their words. Where exactly are we referring to? Here, this is actually a machloke between the Rambam and the Rosh. Shitat Rambam is, is that you're only going to be chayav if you take a razor and you cut off your peot area. That's Shitat Rambam. The Rosh comes and he says, that which they say that it has to be with a ta'ar, with a razor, he comes and he says, only peot azakan, is only on the beard. But it's written over there, lo tashchit peat You're not allowed to destroy the peot of your beard. Aval, to do with peot rosh, you do not need a ta'ar, but it's not written ashkata, it's written akafa, which means the fact that it changed the terminology between the beard and the peot of the rosh, so therefore it says lotakifu and hashkata, lotashchit, balibatashchit, so therefore to do with the beard, there it's mamasha ta'ar, but to do with the rosh, even if it's not going to be with a tar, but it's going to be something like a tar, which means something like a razor. So you have, for example, right, many types of uh, machines, electric, uh, we're talking about, whether it's hair cutting machines or beer machines. So technically that's not a tar. The tar is the kuchia, right? The actual come, the razor, and the actual knife. That is a tar. But if you have something which is like a tar, shitata rosh is, is that you're going to be chayav as well. Shitata rambam is no. The uh, question is, what is shitat maran? So Maran brings down in Shulchan Aruch Siman Kupealef Siv Gimel, Eno Chayav Ela Bataar. You're not going to be Chayav on taking off your peot over here unless you use a razor. But then he says, Vyesho Srim Bemisparaim Ken Toar. Some people prohibit with the scissors, which is like a tar, Vyesh Lachush Divrehem. And you have to suspect for their words. So now here, technically speaking, Maran was supposed to like the Rambam. Stam Vyesh, Maran Paskins, a what? Technically speaking, if you want to take a scissors or something like a scissor, which is not a real razor, and you want to come and you go straight down and you take off the pelt completely, technically this shouldn't be a problem. However, though, right, since Madame brings down Yeshachush Divrehem, so therefore Lechatechila, obviously, he himself was being posek that even though me Karadin Dalacha would have been like the Rambam, we still have to suspect like Shitatarosh, which means you cannot completely remove, right, the pelt. Now, according to this, right, it's going to come out as follows. Let's say a person has to have a type of a surgery and they have to get rid of all their hair, let's say, on their face. So therefore here, obviously, it's better to do it with a machine than to do it with a razor. Because if you do it with a razor, you're chayav according to all the shito. If you do it with a machine, at least you have the rambam what to rely on, right? However, though, right, you're not allowed to do it if you don't have a reason for doing it. Meaning if a person doesn't have a surgery or he doesn't have anything, and now he comes and he says, Rabbi, I want to come and I want to take a triple zero or I want to come and take a zero and I want to take off all my hair. So now it's a problem. Why? Because that is called ke'en ta'ar. That is like a ta'ar. It's not a ta'ar mamash. It's not a razor. But if you take a, a hair cutting machine and you put it on number zero, that in itself is like ke'en ta'ar. It's like a razor. And therefore it would be problematic. It would be a sur according to the Rosh. And Maran already said, which means you have to suspect for your words now according to this though he comes and he says right but now what about leaving it a little bit longer or not so he says yes some people are machmirim to even leave it a little bit more what is a little bit more that you're able to fold it backwards what does that mean that it's a little bit long that you could actually take the hair and you could bend it, you could fold it. So he comes and he says, that is a shoot of a half a centimeter, right? And he says, Hamachmir kitivrehem, tavo bracha, right? The people that are going to be machmir like this is tavo bracha. But me he says, it only has to have a kol shehu 
in order that you see that it's not going to be a tar. We know the Shut Mina Shemaim brings down that the entire reason why you're not allowed to cut off your peot is that we should, the, the, the Jews should not look like the people that are doing Abu Zarah. <laughs> and therefore he comes and he says, right, that any person that's going to be mekel in any suspicion of Abu Zarah, mekelim lo yamav. They will come and they will make light his days as well. However, though, somebody that is machmin on things of Abu Zarah, marichim lo yamav ushnotav. He will have long life. So now what is this concept of leaving a little bit longer or not? So we just mentioned that according to Shitab Maran, we said technically speaking, he passes like the Rambam, which means that even if you do it kentad, it's mutar, but you have to suspect to Shitat harosh. But what happens now to do with how much do you have to actually leave over? So there are some Shitot that they actually come and they say that they're not leaving anything over. This is already brought down in the Gaul Belechem Yehuda, right, in the Chayadam. The Biur Al-Acha in Siman Neshnun Alef, the Ibura Matchil Afilu says, Right? Because of our sins, people come and they, they take off their peot and they leave it mamash close to their skin. They don't leave anything behind. There's a problem of an isur doraita. Says the they have to leave something over. So for sure you do have to leave something over, which means coming and completely removing the peot. Now remember that the peot, there's also going to be a machloket that according to Shitab Maran, it goes further down, right? According, even according to the Ramah, it's where it's going to be the bone over here, which if you actually check, a lot of boys nowadays, they miss it because they go higher up. For sure, according to Shitat Ramah, it has to be that when you put your finger right, right be- be- beneath, not the ear lobe, this is the ear, I don't know what it's called over here, the middle part of the ear here. It's, this is the ear lobe. Right, that is according to Shitab Maran, which means according to Shitab Maran, right, they would have to actually have the pail longer, which the, you have the jawbone over here, that when you open up your mouth, you feel a bone. So that is according to Shitab Maran, how far down does it go? However, though, there's a little tiny earpiece here, right, which that is according to Shitab Arama, which means that there's a bone right over there as well. So therefore, the, the pail have to be as long as minimum over there, but that's the bottom part. There's also the top part. Blinada will try to print out the picture again of the kosher haircut showing exactly that it's also on the top. It's not only just over here, the peot. The peot is over here and also over here on this top part. So therefore, a person has to be careful what number, right, are they doing for the peot. Here he does bring down that there's a shoot. He comes and he says, and it's a kapiria talmudit, and also the shoot Torah lishma of the Ben Yishchai, that they both bring down that it has to be a half a centimeter. Afterwards, this sefer, which is one of the Tamidim of Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef, they want to say that that's also a chumrah, you don't really need to, but he does say that Tavo Allah Bracha, if you do such a thing. But according to Shitat of the Ben Ishchai and the Encyclopedia Tomidit and others, for sure that you have to have enough over here, not just a little bit, but you actually even have to, have to fold it, so it's going to be even much longer. But even if you don't have that, you have to be very, very careful that if you are coming and using a machine in order to come and to cut your hair, you cannot come and cut your hair with the number zero because that's actually leaving nothing behind and therefore it's going to be a very big problem. Have a wonderful day.